and then just confirm that it was recording to the cloud. It should be all set. All right, thank you. Did I say so much with something to the cloud? Chat for team security share screen chat. So uh, I'm sorry, guys. I was supposed to leave this meeting and sign in on some new one. Debbie. No, just Karen Ann, I think. Okay. Karen Ann just had to view the new account. Yeah. yeah. She's got to log back in and we got to, I don't see her yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's recording. Yeah, so I'll have to get the recording afterwards. Uh, no, because it's going to go right on this computer. So I, we should just be able to do what we did last time and forward it. Yeah. You don't see a picture of it. Well, I hope everybody's had a nice Valentine's Day. Yeah, Rebecca, were your kids all excited about Valentine's Day? Yes, any holiday, any excuse to celebrate. <laughs> One year, the kids came home and I didn't have any Valentine's for them. And I'm like, oh God, I gotta have them by tomorrow. So we got down, we took the funny papers, the Sunday for papers, and we cut some of the pictures out of there. And they cho Dan chose one for everybody in his class. So we made these special little Valentines for them. The next year got to be Valentine's Day and the kids all asked Dan, are you gonna do those special ones again? And I, you know, <laughs> 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 last minute, you know. <laughs> it's simple. Yeah. Oh, well. Melissa, I've met Melissa. I have met her. Melissa, are you the one who does the baking? makes beautiful cakes and things? Nope, not me. I thought you were the one that did a lot of baking for the, um, uh, what do I want to say, the parents group. <laughs> Can you just 
Hey, Karen Ann, it's Debbie. I saw you sent me an e a voicemail, but it's um, all garbly. I cannot make any of it out. I'm sorry, honey. I just talked to her. She she cannot she cannot get in. So I just emailed her email. I just talked to her. She called me. So hopefully it will work for her now. So hopefully she'll be able to get in. Uh, Debbie. Yes, my dear. Can I ask why don't we want to use the library email, the library account, Zoom account, the one which we used to use? Oh, I, that was because remember when we had the problem with being um, bombed? Yeah, but I think we can we can just sign it differently so it wouldn't happen again. Well, that's certainly yeah. up to, there's yeah that's what you can it's do available. whatever you want to do but that was the reason why we had switched over to the town because they thought it would be more secure and more more apt to not happen that somebody yeah, would do that I, with our i think needs. yeah i think we can easy fix it on our library account so it wouldn't happen just okay, by putting that. the password no that's i think we've got about as much chance of getting hit again as lightning striking so I think we should just go ahead and use the library account. I don't think. I thought that, yeah, I thought we just did not use the, she said she didn't get it. Sorry, I'm sorry. No, no, that was the reason why they had switched over because I thought with the town, people would be less likely to um, bomb something like that. There'd be, it'd be more tire security. And maybe it's it's been quite a it's been a couple or a few meetings. So maybe whoever yeah, was doing months. that gave up thinking that you know we did do something else, so we probably could go back. We could I certainly think it's finished it. by chance. That one, I, yeah. I, they didn't bomb us on purpose. They just Who hit knows? anybody. Who knows? Yeah, I think we should use that account. It means we have to get out in the cold. No thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Okay, I'll see you in the spring. Okay. <laughs> Can we start without Karen in and just pick up, and then she could just pick up where we're at? She's trying. She's trying. Oh, I'm sure she is. I don't think we have a quorum either without her. Well, we oh. have um, two, three. We have four. We have four. That's but we don't have a 
No so, joy. So if we have to then, because we don't have a vice chair, then Julian has to lead the meeting. Because you are secretary. Let's, let's at least get through the, the, the paperwork end of it first, okay? So let's call it to order at 726. And I've already got down everybody who's here. A quorum has been met. Okay. And Karen Ann has on the agenda to um, do the election of the vice chair, who is not here again. So um, I think we have to we'll just put that aside. And if Karen Ann wants to do something differently, then, then we can. Okay, uh, she's got down here acceptance of the minutes on January 17th. We also have to accept the minutes on January 10th, was it? I got it in my folder here. Um, the regular meeting, and then I amended them. Life is crazy here. And um, so anyways, for the special meeting, et cetera. Um, Done. Okay, let's just move. Though. Okay, let's everyone, start. excuse me. We got Karen Ann here. She's having a hard time getting in. She has to yep. be on speakerphone. Okay, Karen Ann, go ahead. Um, how much time? I have no idea what's going on. I cannot, under any of the links that I have tried, uh, get in. Karen Ann. Karen, just get in the car, come down to my house, and come on the computer here. Oh, I know, honey, you always do. Uh, Joan just mentioned you could go to her. I mean, you can certainly come to library. Uh, Joan mentioned you could hop in the car and come to her house. I don't know if she's closer. Okay, okay. The situation is I cannot drive. It's weird because I uh, Joy isn't even at the meeting, and so I don't know if that's again we can go ahead with that. Can we, guys? Did she say anything to you about um, that? She definitely is going to do it. We just have to vote her in. No, oh, we can't vote without her. That's Robert's rules. She needs to be present. Oh, I thought we could elect people even though they're not present. Or <laughs> oh no, that's yeah. nominating. Never mind. <laughs> Uh, Elena just said she that we can't do that. Okay. So who's hosting the meeting right now? Uh, Joan. Well, we're hoping I have it on our uh, at the as a Wellington Public Library. We're hosting it. Joan is um, actually going forward with going through the agenda and taking care of business as best we can until we okay. you know waited for you. Joan, you hear me? Joan, can you hear Karen Ann? So, uh, hold on one second, guys. Did you see the letter from Mary Pat Mel Melanie? No. No. If Karen Ann can't get access to the meeting, she says, I'm worried that there may be members of the public that aren't able to attend either. That could violate, violate FOI. I don't think that's the case. I think that's the case with Karen Ann's position, but I don't know. Do anything we can always table something to the next meeting if we really get stuck how's that The next thing I've got on here is accepting the minutes. We had two sets of minutes. 
we have the January 17th and the January 22nd. Okay. Did you we want had, to listen in or you want to go, honey? All right, my dear. Thank you. Take care. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. Okay. So, um, the minutes of January 17th, everybody got them, but what I had was a wrong number at the bottom. And so, uh, total number and um, the percentage was wrong. So, I had to revise that so that those reflected the right. Okay. Um, and I think we should pass one at a time. Um, January 17th minutes. Can we have a motion to pass them unless somebody has an objection? Okay. I have a motion to approve minutes from January 17th, 2022. Second. Thank you. John, I'll second. Okay. Okay. All in favor, raise your hand or say aye. 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 Okay. Okay. Aye. Okay. And then the um, Board of Directors special budget meeting. Um, that one, that was really tough to do, very honestly. So I tried to make sure that all of the motions that were passed were down there. First and who's second, um, and uh, whether they passed or not. Okay, so that was my concern on that because the meeting was so particular. Okay, so do we have uh, does anybody have any, uh, we'll do a motion. Does anybody have a motion to pass the minutes? Can you say the date of that meeting, please? Can this one mind? is January 22nd. This is the special meeting. Okay. I make a motion to accept minutes from the special meeting on January 22nd. Thank you. 2022. Is there any discussion? A second. I, I gotta get a second to write a link. Anyone said second. 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 Rebecca second. will second. Okay, now is there any discussion? Okay. Okay, all those in favor, raise your hand or say aye, please. Aye. 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 Okay. Okay. So we took care of um, are there little voices. Oh, that's my guy in the background. <laughs> that is so cute. Okay. Um, treasurer's report, please. Could we have the treasurer's report? Right here. Okay. Okay, it's Rebecca and Rebecca, Rebecca and Rebecca. Yeah, yeah. Our, so for January, we had a beginning balance of $139,026.31. We had $37.38 in revenue. We spent in expenses $15,900.41, giving us an ending balance of $123,163.28. So we're still within what we want to be for our budget for this year. So that's good news. Just now I'm writing things down. Okay. Can I say something, please? Yeah, sure. It's just a short comment. Uh, if I understand it right, I guess it's a really good spending. Because whatever, if we in average spend 16,000 per month, then 123,000 will last us well over seven months and we have five months left. So we should have a good leftover. We should have at least 30,000 left at the end, if everything is it is. So that's good news for me. Yeah. Okay. 
And the auto, the um, elevator bill, that's a one-time shot, isn't it, Rebecca? Yep. It should be, I think so. Is that right, Hope? Uh, yeah, it's an annual uh, contract fee. Okay. Okay, so that just let me write that in here. Where are we? Where did I see it? Okay. It's under building maintenance. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I think I think Elena's got a good a, a good um, an idea there. Okay. Good observation. Okay, and we don't have to vote on the treasurer's report. Um, the director's report, please. Exactly. Really quickly to go through, uh, we reached out to the old director again to pay off the remaining balance. We haven't heard anything back as of yet. Uh, oh, you did. <laughs> I just got an email. I uh, hope wasn't aware of it. Um, he will not be back. Uh, he's out of this country. He won't be back till the middle of March. Whereupon he says he will take care of it. Gotcha. But um, our monthly drawings, uh, they're still going. Our Dunkin' Donuts, we made $32 off of that one. This month we have a drawing of love. We've got candles, champagne, Chocolate. chocolates, all yeah, and it's already got pretty good pickup from patrons, so that's great. Um, as a lot of you may know, we have been having flooding in the building for the last couple of weeks. I recorded around uh, January 19th ish. So um, we're glad for the cold weather when the water freezes and it doesn't come in. But the minute it starts to melt, it's it, consistent. It, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. But we're keeping it at bay as best as we can. Um, taking care of business, we. We have um, called into Eversource. We know uh, where it's coming from, what's going on. They were supposed to come out within 48 hours. That was, they should have been here Friday. It's now Monday, but we had the weekend. So nothing did we see from them today. Hopefully tomorrow. If not, we'll get after them again tomorrow. Okay, just one minute. Let me write this down. They should have been here today then. Uh, yeah. Yes. So you called them? Thursday. Thursday. Okay. I'm just trying to get this all straight in case I need to. We did. Okay. Don't On Thursday. Okay. Where? Now you, you um, sent Erica an email on it. Yes. yes. What did she say? Uh, well, this is a problem that goes back probably two to three years ago. Um, and we had had Eversource out at the time. They were going to contact the town and we never heard anything back. And for a short time, we didn't have any problems. Now it's reoccurred. And when checking to see, you know, why that's the case with Eversource, they said they didn't even have a report on it. And when talking to Erica to see if she had heard anything from Eversource, this was the first time that she has heard of it. So unfortunately, we're back to square one with having to have Eversource out and look at it. And then we'll, we, will, we will make sure we communicate with Erica at the town so that she is aware of things going forward. May I make a suggestion? Sure. Yeah. Um, if you don't hear from Eversource by about 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, you need to get in touch with Eric. Oh, and we ask have her. Well, yeah, we have have ask her to Eric. get in touch with them tomorrow. Yeah, she yes. said she would if that they wouldn't come out in time. That she would try to pull strings on her and to yeah, there's some kind of a, they have. I guess the town has some kind of an Eversource representative that they deal with. So uh, we we did talk about that, and yes, we will. Okay, because we got we have to push this one because it's going to melt again this week. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to have another problem, and I don't think I don't think that librarians should be vacuuming water off the cellar floor. You're well, honest, well, you know we're that's busy. That's not right. That should have been solved. People over, but <laughs> we're here 
seven days a week trying to keep up with it. it I it know you good. are. And that I give you a lot of credit for that. Okay, I'm sorry, I interrupted. Go ahead. Um, no, that that we're good. So that was a flooding list. Anybody has any questions? Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, uh, good news. Um, we uh, have opened up the library uh, to full capacity with the exception of uh, the children's uh, library area. We still don't have uh, toys out for them to play with, which normally we wouldn't during this time, even if it wasn't COVID, uh, you know, any relation to COVID, just because of germs and cleaning and, you know, colds and viruses and whatever are on the rise this time of the year. But we do have the reading room now open. We've got all of our chairs back on with the tables, even the ones that are our more cushioned fabric uh, uh, chairs and couches. So that's exciting. We're also going to be um, ordering now our magazines and newspapers so that people will be able to come in or take them out. We're just going to make sure that we have gloves and uh, hand sanitizer at the areas where they would sit to read them and look at them just for extra protection, make people more, you know, feel more comfortable. So we're really excited about, um, about that. We have um, people are coming in, they're doing puzzles again. Yes. We're, we've got yeah, a lot of nice programs going yeah. on. We're uh, definitely seeing an increase in patrons, the time they spend in the library, the amount of people, especially with, you know, the programs again, which is really great to see. Yeah, yeah. people were really being very cautious yeah. and understandable. Um, so yeah, we, we've done some really good programming. We've, we've received, um, you know, a lot of people into CM. So yeah, it's, it's, all, it's all looking bright and, and positive. Yes. Um, let's see. And then the only thing remaining on the uh, director's report would be under your reminders. Uh, just to let you know that uh, still on schedule is the Monday, February 28th, where the Connecticut State Library is going to be doing their board basics class with us. So I hope everybody uh, at the time, everybody uh, said they could come when we were making plans to have it. So I hope that still remains the same. We still have a few of the board members who have to come in to sign the conflict of um, interest form. No great rush on that, but we've been asking now for a few months. So it would be nice to just kind of take it off the list and have it be done. Um, and that's pretty much about it. Again, a reminder about our anniversary here coming up in 2023. It'll be here before you know it. And if you guys could just please with uh, what's going on with your budget times, if you could just keep good track of your hours that you spend, you know, for what you do for that. And that was about it. Does anybody have any questions? All right, then we're good. Okay, has a question. I put it in the chat, but maybe you're not seeing that. Um, who still needs to sign the conflict oh. of interest? Uh, you guys don't know who you are. You want me to? <laughs> if you don't mind. I didn't want to embarrass anybody. Um, okay, let's see. Um, I'd have to go and look. Okay, well, you could email us later. That's probably not something that needs to me. I was going to write it down, and then I said, no, nah, you know, I, I, I don't think it's I, fair. I, I mean, I'm not embarrassed are. if I, I just, I want to make sure I do my due diligence if I need to do something. Yeah, I can send an email. No, out. we can send an email, then do that. Okay, too. thank you very much. Okay. Uh, we have policy committee report. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah the policy committee. We discussed this with uh, two months ago, actually, before um months and a half ago um before the previous meeting we discussed it with Karen and and with debbie that there is no really sense for the policy committee to meet and discuss director's responsibilities because we have no idea what they are doing so we wanted to ask officially during this meeting we wanted to ask debbie um, both co-directors, we wanted to ask to provide by the next meeting to providers with um, full job description, whatever you are doing. I know that you were working on it already. 
So you have the budget. Remember, we decided to wait until budget is behind us. So the budget is behind us. So you have the full months. If you could please try if to provide us full uh, description of your jobs just for the library use, for the board of directors use, for the future possible situations of hiring new directors if we have to. Hopefully not, but. And uh, the second, the shortcut of those job descriptions, which could be used for the policies. Because for us, as a policy committee, for me, Cassie and Joy to meet, we have no idea what you are doing. It would be for us a waste of time and absolutely not a good job done because we don't know what you are doing. So if you could please yourself give us a, so we would have in, in our information pack, uh, packages, so we would have a full description of what the director is doing, plus the shortcut of the um, of the policy, which could be used for the policies. If that's okay with Debbie and Hope. Debbie. She's not Debbie, saying anything. Debbie, you're on silence. I'm, Debbie, I'm we mute. cannot hear you. Debbie. Unmute yourself. You're muted. Oops. How's that? Yeah, we didn't hear anything. Okay. So. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, there's not any problem in doing that. We 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 can. We already have done much of that anyways. It's more or less compiling it all together so that we can have it make sense to you guys. Uh, the only thing is what's taking precedence now and is the flooding and it's really been hard for us to find the time to do what we're normally would be doing and are supposed to be doing without having to run down there every 10 to 15 minutes or at some points we have to actually sit down there because it's it's coming in so that's that's going to play a part in it i'll do my best hoping i will but I can't promise you anything because again, it's with this flooding going on, you know, our time is not our own and it's kind of taken precedence over other things that, you know, we, we could and should be doing. So just that, just giving you a heads up. We'll, we'll try to make it happen, but I can't make any promises. Okay. Thank you. Under old business, a follow up on building. I don't know if that's possible today. Um, Karen Ann, not here. But what do you think, Debbie? We haven't heard from anybody, but we, we haven't heard from Sinaco. Um, we, ha we haven't, yeah, we, we people, we go so far and we expect people to pick up the ball and run with it and do their part in their job and get back to us. But unfortunately, seven out of ten things that we do that's what we're waiting for so unfortunately nothing has happened in regards to to that you know to the building okay. we heard from the person about the light out front that came down um i told them that i, I don't want to put back up until after winter's over we're still looking into quotes as far as how we can reinstall it but this time somehow protect it so that it doesn't keep getting knocked down off you know we're, we're spending a lot of money and, and it's like putting a band-aid on instead of taking care of the problem so we're still working on that also uh, but it you know we're, we're getting quotes as i said we just spoke to the gentleman at the electrical company today uh it won't go up until springtime for a number of reasons just because i don't want to get whacked down again in the winter but also because we want to try to secure it better so that it's not so easily taken down. So there's a lot of things up in the air, unfortunately, but they're all being worked on and they're all being kept an eye on, so. Okay, um, I have something, I don't remember what it was. I'm lucky I remember my own name these days. Can I ask a quick question? Yeah. Yeah, can I ask a quick question? Sure. Yes, uh, it's actually backwards about that training session on February 28th. Can you remind us maybe the time we agreed on? Uh, do that? 
let me check my calendar. I believe it's at six o'clock because they needed it or wanted it earlier. Six o'clock, yeah. It's at six o'clock. Um, and it's a um, Monday night. Yep. Yes. And They're we're waiting to hear from the state library um, with the Zoom, the Zoom line. Link, yeah. We don't have the link yet. They haven't sent it yet. But as soon as we do get it, we'll pass it on to the board. And what's the duration of that meeting supposed to be? Well, it's going to be a, 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 a training session, which at least is going to be an hour. I'm sure you get, you know, there'll be a question and answer uh, period afterwards so that, you know, that will make a difference. I would imagine no more than what a regular meeting would be. I'm thinking probably like maybe an hour, hour and a half. Thank you. Okay, so we're down to, is there any other old business anybody would like to bring up? Okay, I think. Okay, so now we have present to speak. Would any of our visitors like to speak? Please unmute if you would. Okay. Okay, thank you. Board concerns. Uh, my, I have a concern. I'm sorry. I yeah. just thought about it. Sure. <laughs> um, I was wondering if um, if we can ask Debbie and Hope to figure out how maybe we can secure our own Zoom link for our library so we would not have these problems anymore. Because when we used our regular Zoom links, we say was really we never had the problems. So maybe we can secure it. Maybe you can call to some IT professional and maybe they can help us out with that. Thank you. Okay. Okay, I've got that. Um, I have a concern. I went in to drop a book off. Have, have you guys been by the library? Debbie had complained that they had broken the curb with the snow plow. Holy mackerel. And they ran over the bushes on the on the island like there, whatever you call that, that gardening. What do we do besides go and take beat on the door of the public works and get them to understand what's going on that we're upset? I don't know what to do. Um, I think we should yeah, sorry. Yeah, I, I think we should find the person who did it and we should make sure that they carry up some responsibility for their actions because you if you do it careful how you're supposed to do then it shouldn't be happening and if it happens uh, they should be responsible for it and if they cannot fix it whatever if there has to be some insurance some we have to have some insurance they have the job insurance so let the insurance be judged and so we could fix it all up. And well, the, at the, least... town, the town has torn up curbing around here out on this meadow, and they do fix it. And it looks nice when they get done, but they're going to have to do it. Um, I'm going to suggest to the Browns Committee that next year we put it in our noggins or we write it down that we get those color, those orange or yellow stakes like I have out here. And we put them out so that the plows know exactly where they are. And then we do have to have find out who does the plowing here. And they need to go over and walk through with Debbie or Hope or something and get it straight as to where the snow should be put and where they should be plowing. And um, we may have to compromise a little bit on how close they come they may not have to go as close to um to all of the curving and stuff as they're doing we have to think about that but i'm going to suggest that we think about because boy i saw that and i said no wonder debbie's upset i can see that um, i think yeah why do we have to wait for the next year 
I think maybe we can get in touch with them now and invite them now and talk to them, uh, showing that it's not going to work like this, that they need to fix it and find the person who did it. If we will find who did it, we will find out. And the one who did it, he won't do it again. Well, you know, I don't know if it's the town or if it's a, a contractor. Debbie, I'm sorry I interrupted you. No, um, you you guys, um, you, I, I, I have... Uh, personally had issues with how not only the lawn mowing how it's been done but the snow plowing and in in all fairness to uh troy he was out last week and we did talk about it because they are destroying the property the grounds look horrendous um yeah it's in a very it's probably in the worst state of a, it's ever been in every time they come out to plow they're always it's never plowed the same way twice the last time they really did a hack job troy did apologize there was somebody who had done it who hadn't done it before uh he actually came out the very next day to uh clean up where there were there were messes where it was done very poorly or things were turned over or whatnot um and, and you got you guys under, have to understand that even though our parking lot looks very beautiful aesthetically, you know, you know, it's got nice little nooks and crannies. It is a pain to plow. And so they're they're really not dealing with something. They they don't have an easy job. They're tired when they come. Usually we're the last. You know, it's it could be dark. Um, we have tried, we're putting those reflectors um, around where so they could see it. Uh, sorry, but that didn't work. We could certainly try again, but it didn't work. Um, so we did talk to him. As a matter of fact, Hope and I were just, after he left, we thought that we're, we're going to draw up a map for them so that they, when, when they have someone, and it's always somebody else different plowing, they would have some kind of um, a map to follow as far as how, what the, what the parking lot looks like, in what direction that they should constantly be plowing so that it it, it looks nice well a lot of, i think why we're getting at this point snow in the basement as much as we are is because so much snow was piled on that side of the building where it's coming in we've asked for them to back blade and put it in the back but again like either not everybody's hearing how it's done there's there's not that continuity we are working with troy he came out, like I said, he apologized. We spoke to him about it. We're, we're in the process of trying to correct some of these errors. Um, so, because we had asked things like, can you move, can you plow so you're, you're taking the snow away from the building and off to the side or to the back? And, you know, I, I get, you know, they don't have enough manpower, you know, uh, there's not enough time. Mm -hmm. They've got their own issues as far as how they feel they can't do a good uh, good enough job. Meanwhile, it causes us problems. I, yeah. I we do worry about when these things do need to get fixed. Yeah, well, who's going to pay Where's for it? Because it shouldn't be coming from the library because we're not destroying, and we, so we shouldn't have to pay to get it fixed. So we we've been talking. Um, also, Troy went after we spoke to Air Cuts explain also about the problem with the snow uh, plowing. Um, it, it's there's, sad in that when they plow, here you've got this beautiful pinnacle of a, a flag and our garden's right smack in the front of the building. So that's the first thing you see when you pull in and that's the part where it's all, it, it's, is, it's torn apart. Is, but we do have things we can do in the springtime so that we don't have to worry about things constantly getting destroyed. We, you know, you know this is, and bushes there is not a good idea. For one thing, this is this is baloney. I'm sorry, that's baloney. They can have the same person mow, uh, plow that every time. We don't have to be the last one on the list if there's excuse. That's a whole set of excuses. That's no good reason that that isn't done right. So, you know, if we, if you had them do it your home, you'd fire them. So if yes. they can't plow this right, then they need to fire the person who's doing the plowing. I'm, you know, this is ridiculous. Yes. There's no excuse for this. I think your idea of having them come out and walk with you and do the map is terrific. 
I think that that's a really good thing. But we're not going to take that excuse that they don't have enough people or they're tired or anything else. They're getting paid for this job and they need to do it and they need to do it right. And if they don't have enough people, then they need to go out and hire a contractor to help them out. That's all. There are other ways around this, and there's no reason why we should have to sit and take this. That's all. And we also can write. I'm sorry. sorry. Um, no, I'm sorry. Um, I think maybe we should even write um, official complaint on whoever it is, find out who exactly is the person who did it, and make it personal, not like to overall department, but to know exactly who did it, complain so it would be covered somehow through the person's salary if they will know that that person is a perfect whoever works at the library property they are personally responsible for the job being done personally responsible not like destroying everything and then people of this town from their taxes paying for their uh bad level bad job we don't have to do that so we can we can write a letter from the board of directors Official complaint. Well, we can, I think this first step would be write a letter to the Board of Selectmen now and just say that we've had this issue and we are trying to work it out, you know, and kind of leave it a little gently. And then the next snow time they do it, then we write in a letter that's sterner. That's a good word. I'm trying to remember that this is being recorded, so I don't. No, it's okay. I think it's, it's okay. Plus, we had. We had problem with them through the whole summer when they were doing really bad job mowing everything. And now it's the same, but now it is hurting the property with the snow removal. And that already will cost real money before it was just aesthetic. And now it's money related spending. Yeah. That's not right. Somebody has to be responsible. Yeah, I hear you. Okay. Okay, well, I'll write this out in the minutes that, um, in case anybody reads it, that um, we're very concerned and that should I put down that perhaps a uh, letter to, could go from, the, from the, this board to the um, Board of Selectmen if things don't improve? Would that be a correct way to put it? Yeah, I would, I would agree. Okay, I just want to make sure. So can I ask Debbie, so did we talk to them once or on a few occasions already about correct snow mm -hmm. removal? Many times. We we okay. talked before the snow falls. I sent pictures. Yeah. We've talked about this in years past so that it wouldn't repeat. Uh, again, you get people changing and I don't know if words not getting to those who need to know, but something lost in the communication, obviously. But no, th this goes back for a year, a good couple of years. I Maybe just, we should. This year it's the worst. Maybe we should consider hiring our own snow removal company, local person who does it. I don't know what it costs. I have no idea. It doesn't. It costs. Okay, it will cost hundred dollars. I don't know. For the snow removal, we can afford it with our budget money now but at least we will not have to do repay to our property afterwards we just need yeah. someone that takes the extra care because it you know to make to make it look nice and not to destroy it's they're like you know the bulls in a china closet <laughs> yeah and they they have the idea that only snow only goes forward yeah. but i've had places where they have they drop the plow and they pull the That's snow right. out backwards and then they move it to where they want. Mm -hmm. And that, that is the way they could get around that pretty little garden. So there, there are ways. We've, we've, we've suggested and yeah. asked such things. And if well, I could be here when they're here doing it, I could tell them and show them. But well, do we want really a motion? Happen after them. Do we want a motion that the library board will write a, um, a letter to the Board of Selectmen letting them know that we have an issue so we have a paper trail? Yes, I second the motion. Well, I don't I don't know if you want me to make it or? Yeah, I said you're making it, yes. <laughs> so, 
sorry. Okay, so I'll put down it will write a letter to the Board of Selectmen to let them know we have a problem with the snow removal. Um, with snow removal, period. I don't want to say company because I don't know if it's a company or the town that's doing it. And Elena will second. I second. Okay. And any dis further discussion? Okay, can we have a vote on it? If you are in agreement, would you raise your hand? Aye. Aye. Okay, so it's unanimous. And I'm sure that Karen will tap in and read this and re go through this whole discussion uh, before she thinks about what she wants to put into letters. So. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I love it. I love it. You know, when you get old, you really miss the kids and the kid sounds, you know, so um, it, it's heartwarming. Any other board concerns? Nothing else to come before the board? Okay. Well, can we have a motion to adjourn? I make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Second. A Kathy second, is that it? Okay. <clears throat> Any discussion? Everybody in favor, please say aye or raise your hand. Aye. And I hope we got to this meeting and I miss Karen Ann being here. Quick question, who will write the, uh, do a draft of the letter to the board? I assume Karen Ann would want to, but I'm not okay. sure. She Kathy, may be calling you and saying, Kathy, you're the English one. You know how I mean, I'm just, I'm ready. I'll be ready to edit. I just wondered when and how to expect okay. that process. Yeah, I think that's going to be uh, up to Karen. Absolutely. Okay. Sure. We'll let her know. And she can always send an email out even though it's official, an email to, you know, let us know what she, her feelings are or something. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Great job. On. Thank you for taking that on tonight. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you, Julian. You did yeah. great. Not a problem. We got through it. Record time. All right. Um, you know what? Off, off, off the record now. Um, the, uh, we got this thing on the medical and dental rates from Karen. Uh, 